Iran has meticulously identified its military targets in Israel, signaling a dangerous escalation in the ongoing conflict. Abbas Saragchi, Iran's foreign minister, articulated this stance during a recent interview with Turkey's NTV network, making it clear that any attack on Iranian territory would provoke a substantial response. Any attack on Iran will be considered crossing a red line for us. Such an attack will not go unanswered. The necessary response will be given to any attack on Iran's nuclear facilities or any similar attack. Aragchi's declarations come at a time when tensions are already running high between Israel and Hezbollah, Iran's regional ally. Over the weekend, a drone launched from Lebanon struck the seaside residence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Caesarea. Although Netanyahu and his wife were not present during the incident, the Israeli Defense Forces confirmed that the attack caused damage to the property. This prompted a swift reaction from Netanyahu, who accused Iran and its proxies of orchestrating the assault and vowed retaliation. In this charged atmosphere, Aragchi underscored Iran's perspective on the ongoing strife in the region, framing it as a response to Israeli and American aggression. He highlighted the crucial role of U.S. military support in enabling Israeli operations in Gaza and Lebanon. Israel cannot commit crimes in Gaza and Lebanon without the U.S. All the weapons used there are supplied by the U.S., he asserted. Despite Iran's ongoing military maneuvers, Aragchi claimed that Tehran had refrained from targeting Israeli civilian or economic sites, focusing solely on military installations, though he warned that this restraint could change. We have not attacked the economic or civilian facilities. We have only targeted military facilities. Now we have identified all our targets there, and a similar attack on their targets will be carried out. Netanyahu has remained adamant in his commitment to retaliate against any threats to Israeli citizens, declaring that anyone who tries to harm Israel's citizens will pay a heavy price. This rhetoric aligns with Iran's strategy of maintaining a robust military posture while seeking to reshape the regional balance of power in its favor. As tensions escalate, Iran's foreign ministry spokesman Esmail Baghaye denied any involvement in the attack on Netanyahu's residence, dismissing Israeli claims as fabrications. The Zionist regime has been formed on the basis of lies and distortion of facts, he stated, reinforcing Tehran's narrative that Israel's accusations are merely an attempt to distract from its own actions. Aragchi, who participated in a meeting of South Caucasus nations in Istanbul, described the situation in Lebanon as very worrying. He noted that the prospect of war in the region remains serious, with no party other than the Zionist regime desiring such a conflict. These developments come amid a volatile Middle Eastern landscape, with Israel confronting multiple threats, including from Hezbollah in Lebanon and Hamas in Gaza, both backed by Iran. The recent killing of Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar, who was instrumental in planning the attacks that ignited the current conflict, has further complicated the situation. Israeli leaders are now focused on securing strategic gains, aiming to reshape the regional environment to enhance Israel's security and deter future assaults.